for you. Hi, can I have a grande iced matcha with two pumps of raspberry? Unfortunately, and... you don't have raspberry. Oh, shoot. Okay, can I have um, two pumps of chai in that? Grande iced matcha with two pumps of chai? Yes. And then can I just get a small ice water? Mm-hmm. And that's all. You want lemonade? Well, I'm gonna make you juice. Um, I see this girl on TikTok all the time say how good it is. She gets her matcha with raspberry, and I really wanted that. Gosh darn it. Also, I got a grande, and I didn't get cold foam on it to save money, and I only saved a dollar. Like, no. I'm just gonna keep getting my venti. Come on now. Just save yourself some money and just get some Mio and keep it in your car. But every time you have to order an ice water and they got a nice little treat. Yeah. Okay, well I didn't get lemonade, so it looks like I'll be drinking that. I don't have lemonade, but I have juice. Well, then it looks like you don't have a drink. Maybe I take that back. I got a Walmart shocker shocker. Because I realized I've had this card that my insurance company sent me two years ago when like I first got this insurance. I never really thought twice about it, didn't know what it was. Well yesterday I was on the phone with my insurance company trying to figure out a couple things. I was like, hmm, let's see. Let me just like, you know, see what this card is. So I go and I look it up. Girl, I get money on it. Like money gets put on it every month for me to like buy things. Like diapers and stuff. I had no idea I've had this card for two years, so the amount of money that I've wasted, I'm sure, because I would just never spent, is ridiculous. But, with that being said, I'm really excited about it, so we're outside of Walmart, and I'm going to go in and get some diapers and stuff like that for the baby. Diaper! Diaper! And just get a little prepared, because why not? Alright, so we are able to get a big pack of newborn diapers. I got um, this big thing of nursing pads. I also got some nipple cream because, you know, mm -hmm. I got some newborn body wash and lotion. So I could have just used the stuff I used for Charlotte. Um, I mean, she still uses like baby stuff, but this stuff just smells so good, guys. Oh, and then I got this. This is Chris was out of um body wash and that's what they got today i'm honestly just pissed like i didn't know about that sooner like the amount of diapers i could have gotten is out of control like what can you do and that card paid for all of that stuff so pretty cool hey it's pretty helpful you know i will use it if i have it pouchy yes i almost left up paying for her pouch but then I remembered all right now we're off to do some grocery shopping guys I'll tell you the story after but it's had called 911 me do it, me do it. okay we're finally back in the car grocery shopping took far too long because after that whole little fiasco happened I was just was so discombobulated I was like I don't know what I need where I'm going and it, whatever so I was grocery shopping for like way too long anyways um I'm minding my business I'm gonna way to get some peanut butter and there's an elderly woman and her husband like off to the side and it looked like she was trying to sit in her walker and it looked a little weird but like nothing too concerning at the time but i'm like hmm okay so i you know i pass them and i'm just kind of like hanging around a little bit getting my peanut butter but like kind of hanging around to see if everything was okay and there was another woman in the, in the aisle doing the exact same thing i keep pulling up to this one car a red light and they probably think I'm just insane so don't mind my double chin from down here anyways she she was kind of doing the same and just like you could tell she was like curious and what was going on all of a sudden she like went up to them and was like are you okay like I'm a nurse whatever and that's when the husband was like you know I think she's having a seizure or something like that I so that's when it became obvious that something was going on so I'm like what the heck so I'm looking and then the nurse asked me to go get someone and I'm like okay back in my mind i'm like what is like a worker at the grocery store gonna do like i don't know so then i was like okay like and then she's like we might need to call someone and i'm like 
okay, do you want me to call 911? Like, I have my phone. She was like, yes. So, I ended up just calling 911. And the lady ended up coming out of it. And she was fine after that. I mean, I, once I got phone with 911, I kind of, you know, I got a worker um, to let them know what was going on. I kind of went my own way. But by the time I left, she seemed like she was fine and everything was okay. She had snapped out of it. Um, 911 had us do, like, some like things like having her smile and say certain things and, and everything checked out good so I think she's fine she did have a history of seizures before but oh it was like a moment let me tell you and then after I walked away I started feeling like bad about myself because I'm like oh my god my in that moment my mind went blank and I don't like that like I want I feel like I normally can work good under pressure like that like, like I feel like I normally can but today my mind just went blank and I'm like I think it's because the other lady was a nurse. So when she said that, I was like, okay, well, I'm stupid and you know more than me. And then my mind just went blank. I think if she wasn't there, I would have I would have been able to like think more clear. But anyways, you know, I did what I needed to do. So like whatever. But yeah, after that I just felt like kind of discombobulated for the rest of the time. So I don't know. It's like eleven thirty now. I don't even know what time I went in there, but we're going home and we're gonna get some lunch. Charlotte with a dream. You mean no? No. No, she wants more snacky. I just can't even with this girl. Baby Iris. Oh my gosh. I, she's been on. Ever since we got the stuff for Piper today, she's been wanting to see a baby. So I told her that I would ask Poppy if she wanted to go visit the baby. My um, stepsister had a baby a couple weeks ago. Um, so I was gonna see if we can go visit her later. I don't know. No, I told you not now. I said we're gonna wait for Poppy. But I don't know if we can even go yet. We have to we have to ask baby Iris's mom. Okay. Okay. Made a Nashville hot chicken wrap. I wanted to be buffalo, but we didn't have buffalo, and that's all I had, so that's what we're working with. We're gonna sit there and eat this, and then I have to edit a video. I have to. It's already like halfway done. I took it almost a week ago and I just haven't edited it yet because I've been dreading it mostly because like I'm used to editing at night and just like having some time to myself during nap times but me and Chris have been watching Prison Break and like we haven't had a show together in a while so I only have like a short period of time every day I can watch it and that's with him at night and I can't edit and it's just, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point, but yeah, I gotta get that done. Your eyes. Yeah, she got tiny little eyes, huh? Yeah. Fred, what do you think of the baby? Yeah. So cute. Her foot is? Yeah. 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 Okay, guys, and this is the after. Um, yeah, they're longer, huh? Super long. Did they take off 20 pounds? Tell me yes. Anyways, um, I didn't end my vlog last night, so I figured I'd just do, show you a little before and after of my hair that I got put in today. It's all new hair. Last time I got, um, 18 inches, um, and then last time, like two months ago, I went to go get them moved up. I had them cut, so that's why they were, like, pretty short. Um, but this time they put in new hair, 24 inches, and I don't know, do we think they're too long? Like, I'm looking at my camera and I'm loving the length, but I look in the mirror and I'm like, are you too long, girl? I don't know, but let me tell you, today was the first time since I got them put in a year ago that I got to, like, feel my hair with no extensions in it, and I wanted to cry. I'm like, this is disgusting. I'm like, tell me it only feels so thin, because now I'm so used to, like, feeling more, and she said yes. I'm like, I don't know how I could ever go back to normal. I also don't know how I'm going to, like, wash and style this because that seems like too much work. Anyways, I have my last appointment scheduled for May 27th. And that's when I'm going to get it, like, colored. Because I don't get it colored every time because I don't really need it. Just, like, I need a little refresh. So, I'm going to get it colored and moved up before the baby comes. So, May 27th is that appointment. I'm due June 8th. So there's like what maybe two weeks in between that. This baby better hold off for me to get my hair done first. Cause after she comes, when am I gonna have time? Like I'm gonna be there for hours 
get it moved up and colored. I can't do that after the baby comes, especially right away. So let my type were better like cold out, but anyways, yeah, and that's how I'm gonna end my vlog. I just wanted to show you guys a little before and after. Okay, love you, bye.